I'm here at the UP Extension in Pampanga, the UP Diliman Extension in Pampanga, for the UP Mania Trail. At the background, you can hear a uh, video. Pero so far, uh, ba? I've just walked miles away from the old UP Extension building to the new one which is located nga dito sa tabi ng Pure Gold Duty Free Clark. So that's I don't know kailang oras ako inabot. Maybe 9? 9? I was supposed to be on the site at 9am but I was at the wrong site so I can't believe it took me a hard. Pero yun nga, kanina uh, at 5.30 in the morning there was a fun run with Colossal Titans on the side. Sa San Banda to David. Yung Pangar. Yeah. Dito pa rin, ano? Yeah. Dito pa rin. But the Titans are outside. It's actually inside track. Because 5.6 km run. 5.6 km. So 5 km run. Okay. So yun nga. Uh, we are invited here by NCPH, Naruto Cosplay of Philippines. And as, uh, as of uh, almost 11 in the morning, wala pa tayong mga balita. Pero tignan natin kung ano, kasi it was expected na dadami ang mga, at was told to me na dadami ang mga tao by noon. Kaya lang kasi... There are a lot of people actually early. Mm. Siguro around uh, 100 plus, 150. Uh, uh, early morning around, uh, as early as 4.30 and up to around uh, 8.30 or 9.00. Yes, thanks. Pero na nakakapagtataka dito sa Clark is not the uh, sparse, oh, uh, scarcity of people but the scarcity of transportation or it's just me. Okay, so uh, we're here with... Um, I'm Elijah Samson. I'm the VP for the UP Manga Anime Association which is an organization here in UP Dep. So, ngayon ay meron kaming event which is called UP Mania Trail and Okairi Festival. Yung Mania Trail, fun run siya where nakakosplay yung mga runners and meron ding mga titans na try, nagtatry na habulin sila. Tapos yung Okairi Festival naman, meron mga cosplay competition and other fun games na masas, masas patutuwa yung mga um, spectators na pupunta. Alright. So, before anything else, bakit may UP sa Pampanga? Bakit may UP sa Pampanga? Um, para kasi yung ano, business. Uh, yung kailangan mong mag-expand para mas mag-grow yung mga profit or output na mga gagawa ng isang business. Ganun sa UP. Sa UP, marami ng mga, uh, marami ng mga uh, other branches yan. Ang bawa, UP Dilima, uh, UP Dilima, UP Manila. Even na uh, malapit lang sila halos, nagkaroon din pa rin ng dalawa dahil nakita na yung need na magkaroon ng maraming campuses to accommodate all the all the people. Tapos, madalas, yung mga places kung saan nakalagay yung UP campuses, meron silang mga major na mga um, courses. Let's say, for example, here in UP Dep, yung mga major namin ay mga business courses like business management, business recon, in LB, they focus on more on agricultural technology, on fisheries, on how to develop our natural resources. And in Manila, they focus more on the sciences, social sciences and behavioral sciences na meron sa, sa Philippines. So, this, uh, this UP here in Pampanga is the UP Extension in Pampanga. Why is it? Ha, uh -huh. Well, kasi, um, you, uh, the UP here in Pampanga is like it's uh, like uh, uh, UP that what it meant was University of the Philippines Extension Program in Diliman. Uh, in, Diliman uh, UC, University of the Philippines Diliman Extension Program in Pampanga. I'm sorry about that. So, para hindi pa kami autonomous from the Diliman from the Diliman. Para part pa rin kami ng Diliman. Uh, nagkaroon lang ng need na na magkaroon ng campus sa Pampanga noong time ng 1986 or 1984. During that time, yung UP Dep ay, ay ang UP ay, UP Pampanga ay sa UP San Fernando. Then it moved to our temporary site which is near, um, inside UP Clark. And now, uh, in January 2015, we moved here in our permanent site near the Pure Gold in UP Clark. Uh, Pure Gold Clark. Okay, so... 
so far, uh, kaninong umaga, I was unable to get here. But regardless, uh, I've been tipped na... How, how many, uh, by the way, how many runners have participated in the fun run? Uh, the, the fun run the fun run started at 5.30... Uh, 4.36 a.m. So, during that time, yun dami ng runners. Um, nung una, konti pa lang. Then, during nung pagtingin ng mga 5.50 to 6 o'clock, uh, dumating na yung mga iba pang runners. So, yung total noong time nung nag-headcount kami ay mga 200 runners dito sa place na to. Maraming mga naka, maraming mga naka cosplay. Maraming, eto, eto ang mga suot nila kanina. Yay! And also, they wore ribbons behind their backs na tinatry na ikunin ng mga titans. Yung titans, nakapalibot sila dun sa mga sa race course. So, habang nag-race, habang tumatakbo sila, tinatry nilang i-evade yung mga titans. Mm. So, para manalo, kailangan pagdating nila sa finish line, which is just uh just just around just around Clark, um nagkakaro uh, magkakaroon sila ng special prize kung meron pa sila ng mga ribbons sa likod. Mm. Then uh meron uh mais naman yung, yung mga mga lobas dahil Marami naman naka, nakakawala dun sa mga titans Pero mas marami yung hindi nakawala dun sa mga titans mm. Yung mga reaction nila dahil ang bilis ng mga titans O kaya nakatakot dahil di nakahabal ka nila Nakatalikot ka, di mo alam kung nasa sila uh, So um, once na nung, yung mga reactions nila both terrifying But at the same time masaya sila dahil taka, ngayon na sila nakaranas ng ganyang passing uh, fun run Mm. I'm also one uh, I'm also wondering kasi kung bakit uh, kung, pa, kung paano nagkaroon ng anime manga organization dito sa UP Dep which is UP Mania. So, how was it how was it formed? <laughs> Actually, it's a funny story. Paano kasi noong second year namin, we were just bored out of my my far mind stuff. So, bigla nang naisip, why don't we make an org for what we love? The uh, the anime, the anime genre, the anime, the Japanese animations na or kaya, hindi, naman, hindi lang naman Japanese other animations like DC Comics or Western cartoons hmm. na nahilig namin para magkaroon kami ng web of relationships na we are we are with our same kind so noong first time namin ng third year kasama namin si Ai Kalani uh, which is one of our fan, uh, which, which is one of our founding uh, members, heads, um, and me. Although I'm, I'm not a head that back then, I'm just uh, no um, assistant, a member. Head, assistant head. Yes, assistant head. Yep. Um, yeah. Time I. It was really great. It, it was a really crazy time. Nah, but are we really going to do this? That was. Then it just it just did. Na nakakuha kami ng marami pa lang may gusto na sumali. We we had team buildings. We did great. We did great with our um relationship with each other. Na um during sometimes di sa mga conventions kung pupunta kami sa mga convention lang kita kasama. Parang naging cosplay groups kami na pupunta sa mga convention. So para sa akin the real reason why we made this organization is to help um, help one another in um, being in being true to themselves. I see. So, kailan ulit na establish? Uh, UP Mania is was established when we were just third years first time, which means so, it was anong year? 2013. 13, yeah. So, uh, so, so far. July okay. 11, 2013. Uh, have you had uh, talk to other anime manga related organizations uh, organizations inside the UP system? Um, Ame, Omake. Uh, not not really, but um, we haven't really talked to them that uh, that yes, what's that word again? That uh, we re we rarely we rarely talk to them because. <laughs> Uh, we haven't got a chance to really talk to them du during the conventions. We, we, um, I for one tried to talk, but I was really shy during those times since um, my my um, esteem to talk to people are low. Uh, since it was just second year, and I was trying to 
tell them that if they want to create a chapter here in Pampanga for it, UP Ame. But yes, um, but the destiny comes that we should make our own organization. But during this year, after 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 this event, we are we are going to try to talk um to collaborate with uh, other anime organizations in the UP sectors in other um other parts of the Philippines so that we may be able to um, learn some tips on how learn some tips on how they manage their organization and at the same time they would be able to learn something from us if there are any 